Hey y'all, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I went by the school yesterday to stop by and visit and the bus drivers, bless their hearts, they were just so pitiful. They all looked like they'd lost weight and, and, and had sad looks on their faces and all this stuff and they said that they have not had any banana pudding or chocolate cake or anything like that all year and they just look so pitiful so I'm gonna try to make some for them today we already got a chocolate cake made last night uh, but let's do the banana pudding and let's get that over there to those poor bus drivers I don't know what they're going to I mean they got Thanksgiving coming up next week they probably won't even get to eat you know during Thanksgiving so let me make sure I get them some banana pudding This is where it gets weird for those of you who think you're a banana pudding purist. You take this, you put it in the microwave for three minutes, and then every couple of minutes after that, you check it. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, I got it in the microwave. Three minutes. You don't have to cook it on the stove. You don't. Some of you may be going crazy right now, but you do not have to cook it on the stove. This is going to be real banana pudding just like any other pudding that you make and you can be happy with it. So let me show it to you. Okay, precious cargo. Maybe I should get one of those uh, stickers like you put on the back, you know, like when you're carrying babies and stuff. Precious cargo. Banana pudding. Chocolate cake. It is precious cargo. I just hope none of these bus drivers have any kind of sugar fit or anything, you know wreck their bus or act crazy or something today after getting all this sugar since they've been doing without for so long it's bad it's bad i mean think about it if you went 
months on end without, you know, any kind of banana pudding or chocolate cake or pie or something like that. I mean, months on end, that'd just be... I hate to even think about it. I mean, even when I was on the government diet, you know, I got a little bit of dessert. People are, those people are suffering. They're suffering. And I, I'm gonna ease their pain today. You know what I really should have on my um, truck? It's like a siren. There should be like some kind of siren, uh, you know, like maybe a dessert siren or a banana pudding siren, cake siren, you know, something like when you're actually en route uh, to taking people, stuff like that. You really, um, you really shouldn't have to deal with traffic. You know, people really should be pulling out of your way. Um, you know, it's important that you get it there and you know that it's still warm when they get it stuff like that so i mean anytime you know if you're taking anything homemade anything um, you know something like that you know you're carrying something to church for your church meal stuff like that you ought to have you know some kind of sirens i mean i think people uh in the south probably would respect that and would pull over uh you know just out of you know out of uh common decency you know so that you can get it there um, I don't think that's, that's too much to ask. I, I really probably should try to get with some state representatives to see if we can uh, maybe make a law. Because I've had to stop a couple of times here where people are kind of in my way. You know, and I've had to slow down or stop, you know, at a, a red light. So I really shouldn't be doing that. I should just be going. Mission accomplished. <laughs> they ate. They ate like they've never ate before. Happy bus drivers. <laughs>